When one door closes, another door opens, but we so often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the ones which open for us. Sometimes we stare so long at a door that is closing that we see too late the one that is open. Before anything else, preparation is the key to success. Educate the masses, elevate their standard of intelligence, and you will certainly have a successful nation. America is a country of inventors, and the greatest of inventors are the newspaper men. My knowledge of electrical subjects was not acquired in a methodical manner, but was picked up from such books as I could get hold of and from such experiments as I could make with my own hands. I would impress upon your minds the fact that if you want to do a man justice, you should believe what a man says himself rather than what people say he says. The nation that secures control of the air will ultimately control the world. Great discoveries and improvements invariably involve the cooperation of many minds. I may be given credit for having blazed the trail, but when I look at the subsequent developments, I feel the credit is due to others rather than to myself. What this power is I cannot say. All I know is that it exists, and it becomes available only when a man is in that state of mind in which he knows exactly what he wants and is fully determined not to quit until he finds it. A man's own judgment should be the final appeal in all that relates to himself. Neither the army nor the navy is of any protection, or very little protection, against aerial raids. The most successful men, in the end, are those whose success is the result of steady accretion. I have discovered that my interest in my dear pupil, Mabel, has ripened into a far deeper feeling than that of mere friendship. In fact, I know but I have learned it to love her very sincerely. Such a chimerical idea as telegraphing vocal sounds would indeed, to most minds, seem scarcely feasible enough to spend time in working over. I believe, however, that it is feasible and that I have got the cue to the solution of the problem. Morse conquered his electrical difficulties, although he was only a painter, and I don't intend to give an either till all is completed. The day will come when the man at the telephone will be able to see the distant person to whom he is speaking. Don't keep forever on the public road, going only where others have gone and following one after the other like a flock of sheep. Leave the beaten track occasionally and dive into the woods. Dumbness comes from the fact that a child is born deaf and that it consequently never learns how to articulate, for it is by the medium of hearing that such instruction is acquired. When one door closes, another opens, but we often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the one which has opened for us. The only difference between success and failure is the ability to take action. The achievement of one goal should be the starting point of another. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. You cannot force ideas. Successful ideas are the result of slow growth. Ideas do not reach perfection in a day, no matter how much study is put upon them. 
God has strewn our paths with wonders, and we certainly should not go through life with our eyes shut. Leave the beaten track behind occasionally and dive into the woods. Every time you do, you will be certain to find something you have never seen before. We are all too much inclined, I think, to walk through life with our eyes shut. There are things all round us and right at our very feet that we have never seen because we have never really looked. I have traveled around the globe. I have seen the Canadian and American Rockies, the Andes, the Alps, and the Highlands of Scotland. But for simple beauty, Cape Breton outrivals them all. It is the man who carefully advances step by step. Who is bound to succeed in the greatest degree? Man is an animal which, alone among the animals, refuses to be satisfied by the fulfillment of animal desires. There cannot be mental atrophy in any person who continues to observe, to remember what he observes. And to seek answers for his unceasing hows and whys about things. The telephone will be used to inform people that a telegram has been sent. The great advantage possesses over every other form of electrical apparatus consists in the fact that it requires no skill to operate the instrument. A man, as a general rule, owes very little to what he is born with. A man is what he makes of himself. Don't keep forever on the public road, going only where others have gone. Leave the beaten track occasionally and dive into the woods. You'll be certain to find something you have never seen before. Leave the beaten track behind occasionally and dive into the woods. Every time you do, you will be certain to find something you have never seen before. Concentrate all your thoughts on the task at hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. Wherever you may find the inventor, you may give him wealth, or you may take from him all that he has, and he will go on inventing. He can no more help inventing than he can help thinking or breathing. I have heard a ticklet speech produced by sunlight. I have heard a ray of the sun laugh and cough and sing. I have been able to hear a shadow, and I have even perceived. By ear, the passage of a cloud across the sun's disk. Be not the first by whom the new are tried, nor yet the last to lay the old aside.